Launch video seemed to implicate the foam strike near panel 8L as the cause of the breach. At the time of the Columbia accident, it was unknown whether or not a foam impact could break an RCC panel. To find out, NASA began ballistic impact tests while the RCC panel was still being investigated. NASA Glenn Ballistics impact researchers constructed a unique gas gun for small-scale ballistic testing of external tank foam impacting RCC. The gun barrel was mounted to a vacuum chamber, a critical capability enabling impact tests at low pressure, low temperature conditions similar to those during the Columbia foam strike. The small-scale tests proved a foam strike could indeed break the RCC material. The ballistics impact facility was modified to run tests to support full-scale testing of an actual RCC Panel 8L with similar flight history. NASA Glenn personnel joined other NASA experts at the Southwest Research Institute near San Antonio, Texas, where the full-scale impact tests were conducted. NASA Glenn provided extensive photographic instrumentation and data acquisition equipment, as well as analysis expertise for the tests. When the angles, speed, and size of the foam projectile were set to simulate conditions during the Columbia launch, The impact created a hole 16 by 17 inches in RCC Panel 8L, confirming findings of other investigation teams that the foam strike led to the Columbia accident.